SP Motorsport. On today's product spotlight, we're gonna go over our billet catch can that we make for the 2011 to 17 Coyote engine, and that includes the Mustang and the F-150. The 16 to 2020 GT350, and the 2020 and up GT500 as well. All right, so we're gonna go over what we got on the table here. Obviously, we got our catch can and all the hardware to install it. I'm gonna to touch on some of the key points uh, when we went into engineering this and why we did it the way we did it. Uh, one of the main things that we wanted to do when we came out with, with this and came up with the idea is we wanted it to look factory. We really wanted the customer to be able to obviously install it easily, but we also wanted it to appear factory once it was on the car. And I think we achieved that. But one of the main differences between this and a lot of the other catch cans on the market is we don't do any additional hoses. So there's no hoses that you have to run to and from the valve cover to the intake or the blower assembly. Uh, you're literally going to be using, it doesn't matter whether it's a 500, a Mustang GT, uh, a GT350, it doesn't matter. You're going to use the factory hose that's actually already on your car. So being with how they are mounted and engineered, you don't have to run hoses all over the place under the hood. Uh, there's no mounting brackets that you have to put on the firewall or on the engine for that, the, for that matter. Um, it basically just, it, it's, it bolts in very simply. And we're gonna obviously show you that on the car here in a little bit. And that was one of the key things whenever we were doing this we really wanted to drive that home to where it was just clean simple and still extremely functional so that's that's one of the key things another key thing that we wanted to do with this especially for the gt500 owners is there's a lot of people who swing one way or the other on whether the oil should drain back to the engine or whether it should be withheld inside the catch can so what we wanted to do was give both of those customers what they wanted. So this catch can is able to withhold the oil in it and then be drained either uh, plug externally or you can literally take one bolt off and pull the whole assembly off and then remove the lid and dump it out. Um, or for the other customer that wants it to drain back, we actually give you the fittings in the kit to where you can screw them in, piece of hose and the valve cover fitting for the 500 customer and allow it to drain back just as the race, the Ford racing unit does. And the nice thing is comparing this to that unit, once again, there's no extra hoses. So even on the track pack cars, when you would add the, uh, the, the track pack option and you got the Ford racing unit, you still had to add a bunch of hoses and brackets not in this case so that's one of the or that's another one of the main features and, and key things that we wanted to touch on with our design here and obviously we're going to show you what's inside this and kind of go over why we did a lot of the internal um, baffling the way that we did and then obviously as i stated already we're going to show you on the car as well all right guys before we go over to the car and show you how everything works. We're actually gonna dig into this thing a little bit and show you the inside of it. So one of the cool things about this is there's no screws, you know, uh, it's not a, it's not a can, uh, necessarily a can style uh, catch can. It's actually more like a clamshell. And we wanted to make it really easy and something that couldn't really be boogered up, so to speak. Like you, you don't have to worry about messing threads up. You don't have to worry about you know any, anything weird happening or getting getting dirt in something and not not having it go back together smoothly so it's literally one bolt you literally just break it loose like that run it out and then the lid just lifts right off so the cool thing about this is there's an o-ring seal so the o-ring lays right in the perimeter of this there's a single bolt to take it apart and it's also doweled so there's actually little p 
pins that stick out of here to locate it. So that's that's the that's the nice thing about being able to split it. It locates itself. It keeps everything clean. So you know you're not worried. You know if you have a a catch can that has threads and it needs to screw together. You're worried about getting oil on the threads and dirt in it and all that. You don't have to worry about that. You literally just wipe this off, put it right back together. And the one of the major things that we did here with the the design of the baffling is it's technically like a, a street a three stage system. So this is going to slip right over your PCV fitting on the valve cover your vent fitting. It's going to slip right over that. And obviously the the pressure from the crankcase is is going to be venting up through here. It's going to travel through here, runs into its first baffle, and it's obviously channeled. You know, this goes together like that. So it's obviously channeled through here. There's the drain back hole. As everything's pushed up through, we have another system built into this it's almost like a, a, a mini cover with drain ports and flow holes in it and inside of this we'll go ahead and pull this off for you guys inside of this we actually have centered bronze centered bronze filters in here and these are not a universal deal. These are specifically made <clears throat> for this catch can. And this is all change. This is all, you know, quote unquote rebuildable if need be. But they're also not something that wears. It is a actual uh, item that can be rinsed out, cleaned. Um, so there's little, there's little washers in there. These little rubber washers. But the way that it's machined. These actually have a lot of surface area. It's a cone style filter. So <clears throat> it gives the, from a flow aspect, it gives it a lot of flow because there's a lot of surface area across both of these filters. And the way that they're actually built and then set into this, as your crankcase is pulling on this and actually drawing the pressure through the catch can, these are all ported specifically to actually make everything swirl through the filters first and that also helps separate your oil from the air and then after it swirls through there there's actually tiny little holes in this at the base of the cup for it to drain drain the oil out so anything that it would catch in here drains back to the the main body of the catch can so if you look you can kind of see here how these line up, they interlock right into the catch can so they can't move and seal there. And then there's spacers that allow <clears throat> these little rubber washers actually allow the, they actually allow the, hold on one second here, get these sitting in here. Once they sit in there and you go to put the lid on, they allow the, the metal to actually expand and contract because and, and the and the washer like almost uh pre-cushions it so that you have a little bit of tension on it so as the metals are changing in, in diameter and they can expand and contract this doesn't get loose in there and want to move around so that was something you know under testing and, and and messing around with stuff we noticed that you know your expansion rate on aluminum to brass is obviously different so we wanted something to kind of pre-tension that in and make sure everything stays sealed but we also wanted it to be able to be taken apart easily and not something that was a super tight fit because that was really the only way around that so these are serviceable if you would ever look in this and look through these little holes and see these things and they look like they're clogged up you can take them out blow them out with air rinse them out they're easy easily cleaned but there, I do not see a reason for you to ever need to do that. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty high flow and they, they really shouldn't get gummy or too dirty. So, so that's the basis of the system. 
Uh, obviously, the air, the air from your crankcase and pressure is going to travel through here, wrap around. It's going to be forced and bottlenecked here. It'll travel up around. It's going to go through this second stage and then your third final stage of filtering and then out to your blower inlet or intake manifold. So that's the, the basics of this system. You kind of understand how it comes apart and what the filter and baffling system looks like. Now we're gonna show you the cool part on the car itself. All right guys, now that we're over at the car here, we're gonna basically pull this off. Uh, you can get a kind of an idea of what it looks like on the car. This has about 10, since we last had this catch can apart, this has about 10 dyno pulls and uh, a few street pulls on it. Nothing too crazy. And then we're gonna actually show you what, what it did catch. This is set up to not recirculate on this car. Um, so literally this takes one bolt to pull off. So you're gonna reach in here, you're gonna pull your hose off and you're gonna take this one valve cover bolt that we pull out and replace with this Allen. You're gonna take it off, unscrew it And now you can pull the whole assembly off the car. Now we're gonna take this thing over to the bench, show you what's inside of it. All right guys, I'm go ahead and show you what the inside looks like here. Once again, single bolt. And you can do this on the car. You don't have to remove it. Some people like to remove it. It's just easier to dump out or, you know, you can drain it out of here but that's more or less for the return or the drain back style setup. So I would, I would recommend just removing it as far as like ease. Single bolt, pull your lid off, and then that's what we got on the inside there. Smell some E85 in the oil there. One of the things I'd like to, you know, make a note of, if you look in the baffling network inside of this, you can see that obviously your your main oil and vapor are starting in this part of the, the baffle system. That's the wettest part of the system. And as you look up to where the secondary filter assembly is, you can see it's pretty much dry up in there. There isn't a whole lot of oil at the top side of the baffle. And then the same thing here. If we look at these, you can see there really isn't much oil on the baffle assembly. So everything's doing its job, looks good. Obviously you can just, just dump this out, clean it out, put it back together. That's it. Um, if you don't wanna mess with this and you would rather have the, the track pack style setup with the 500, you can run it right back to the crankcase via the factory drain hole and we give you all the fittings to do that. So we're gonna go ahead, get this put back together, and then we're gonna do a reversal and actually show you how to install it on the car. All right, guys, we're back to the car. We kind of set this up as the car is stock. So, you know, your hose, this is your factory uh, vent hose, your PCV hose, and the factory PCV fitting is actually in the valve cover. And then to install the catch can, you have to take one bolt out of the valve cover, which is a 10 millimeter, which we've already done, obviously, because this car had it, had it on it. And I also wanted to show you guys real quick on the aluminum valve covers that come on the 2020 plus GT500. This is the plug to drain back. And we give you the fittings to properly adapt this and put a hose from here to the base of the catch can. So if you do want to drain it back, we, we, we do give you everything you need to utilize this. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how quickly you can actually install this on your car. So obviously you pull your, you pull your valve cover bolt out like we just talked about it. There's a lever on your factory hose right here. You're gonna push that over, lift up, and it's gonna come right off. You're gonna twist this up and you're going to take this fitting, turn it to 90 degrees, like that. You're going to take your catch can assembly. This is pretty much how you're going to receive it. And then you, the only difference is you're going to decide what you want to do with the drain back. You're either going to leave the oil in it or drain it back. 
you're going to line this hole up with your fitting and then the bolt obviously is going to go where the valve cover bolt went and do that push it down like that and all you have to do is tighten this down there is no lock on the fitting because obviously you're you're bolting it down so it kind of takes care of itself doesn't need to be super tight just snug it down and obviously it's pretty sturdy you take your hose now put it right back on done all right guys now you got to see the inner workings of the catch can everything you get in the kit and how to install it on the car and how everything works and functions uh, if you have any questions on that stuff you know from is this a good idea for me to put on my car is it something i need um, does it work with my combo anything like that you can email us call us uh, you know we'll, we'll help you in any way that we can so we appreciate it for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one